I want to talk about post versus cover one. I normally think of post, we think of a perimeter receiver, um, which obviously against cover one is a tough one to throw. But I love post against cover one from an inside alignment, whether it's a, a real tight slot condensed set or a tight end here. We'll see the tight end, and this one just comes wide open. This is Justin Herbert at Oregon. Um, you know, so this, this film is a couple of years old. Here's the reasons why post from an inside alignment versus cover one works. Um, first, Generally speaking, you're going to get outside leverage from the guy who's man on the tight end, right? Just normally, if it's a tight end attached, that's going to be difficult to get an inside leverage on. Um, two, even if you do drop a robber or a rat down the middle of the field, he's not going to gain enough depth or width to be able to take away that post. Three, eyes on the backside are all away because it's cover one. It's man. No one's going to have eyes for the post working across. And depending on how the team defines the middle of the field, meaning the defense, some teams put the free safety truly in the middle of the field. Other teams play him over the ball. In this case, Cal's playing him in the middle of the field, which means he's got no angle on the post either. So that inside post against cover one is really a touchdown ball quite a lot of the time. I've seen it hit for touchdowns in a number of different concepts, not just this one. Um, and uh, I think it's definitely something if you're playing against a man coverage team, you should examine some of your concepts that run some inside posts there and see if you can't take advantage of tough angles for the defense.